welcome to Rapsky Aliens Report, everybody. Uh, we just saw Transformers 3, Dark Side of the My Anus, or something. Uh, what what did everyone think of the movie? Well, me, it was my first IMAX 3D film. Um, I was actually in the second row from the screen, and uh, the 3D element was really there. <laughs> but like, bad, it, so. if I'm if I had to look at the screen, it's like, okay, what's going on over here? Okay, what's going on over here? Okay, what's going on? Like it was, I was too especially close. trying to oh, read well, it. Yeah, I, I had to keep looking in the corner. To I'm read, like, like, I'm like, and like you're like, okay, I can read it, and then it stops, and you're like, wait. Where, where is this place? I don't... I only know the headquarters. It, it's What year is it? It's 19-something! This is great and all, but that's no way uh, indicated with the movie. <laughs> so, <laughs> so anyway... Um, I movie. liked it. Um, me, it was like 10 times better than the second one. Yeah. But not as good as the first. Okay. Eric? I didn't see it in IMAX, so I didn't have any problems like that. Um, I bring my kids to see it. It was I laughed a couple times. The action was good. How was Jeffrey doing, by the way? He's okay. He's in the hospital again. <sighs> um, Cancer. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks for bringing it up. I'm sorry. I wouldn't recommend it, but I wouldn't stop anyone from seeing it. There you go. Hmm. Cameron. All right. Um, I thought it was okay. It could have been easily better. Of course, but anything Michael Bay nowadays sucks. Explosions, no plot. But this one, I think, had a better plot than the second one oh, did. Oh, way better. Yeah. Way it better. actually, uh, I did like the cross between actual real footage of, you know, JFK and... Nixon. And then Nixon, and then mixing it in with actual actors. Yes, they did kind of bad with the actors that they chose. Oh, the guy who played Nixon looked horrible. Yeah. Even JFK and the voice for JFK seemed really bad. Like yeah, he tried to. Us. We, it was like they tried too and hard. When did Obama get a beard? <laughs> but uh, other than that, I have some uh, bones to pick with it. Instead of having the ice cream truck twins, they literally blatantly. He told them, okay, no more racist robots. Yet he basically took those ice cream twins out and put two new characters and other characters that are basically those two characters but split different personalities. Instead of they're both races and the comic reliefs, the comic reliefs and then the races. Which are the wrecking guys, which are a couple oh, assholes. Oh, yeah, I guess, kind of. Yeah. And mm. also the yeah, fact they, that... they did seem very similar to the two guys from the... And uh, on top of yeah. that, like Shia randomly knowing uh, parkour, <laughs> sliding under the car and stuff, on yeah. cement... Is there supposed the, to be something you underneath from there? Indiana Jones. Yeah. The, oh, to understand. the best part, which I think we talked about this yesterday or the other day, is when he's in Bumblebee and then like something happens all those explosions. Bumblebee like transforms, throws Shia LaBeouf out of the car. Oh. He's like, ah! Bumblebee does all this cool stuff, smacks some stuff out the way, grabs Shia, Shia LaBeouf, uh, shoves him back inside him, transforms back into the car. And then literally three seconds of and him just, just freaking yeah, out. It's like three to five seconds of Shia LaBeouf just like, oh my God, ah! I will also add, though, Which I Which I liked, give him credit. If that happened to me, I probably would have shit my pants. I did like how much more in this movie he was a complete dick oh, than he was in every other. Oh, that was hilarious. That's the only, like... And then also the two main characters I really liked was the Kim... Kim Jong, I think is his name, yeah. and uh, John Kim Malkovich. Yeah. And those two characters were literally in about 10, 20, 10 minutes of the entire film, and that's yeah. it. What's your opinion about it? You didn't really get much input. Sorry. All right, here's uh, the whole time I want Shia LaBeouf to die horribly. My favorite scene in the movie involved a robot bird shooting a regular, ordinary, fleshy bird. And I was like, oh, if this were the entire movie, I would watch it for years. <laughs> uh, all the Autobots are ineffective idiots. Which is why the Septicons are the best, number one. Uh, and uh, the movie, as expected, there's plot holes all over the place. But, still better than two. Still. Alan Tudyk, uh, again, like like Cameron said, all the actors had small... Like, the good actors were in there for a very short period of time, but they did excellent with it. John Malkovich did a great job, of course. Ken Jeong, you know, all of them. They did a very good job uh, with what they were given. And yeah, there were plot holes in some of the... <laughs> some of the action was okay. Some of it was kind of, again, cluttered, kind of like the last film. Oh, I yeah. Thought. So much was going on now, you could barely tell what was what. Yeah. But Ooh. one thing it did not have, robot balls. Yeah. I knew that's what, <laughs> that's what didn't make it. That's why it wasn't good. I would've, If they would have had, like, four sets of robot balls, it would have been perfect. 
So, uh, oh, I, think, all right. I think we're about done with the... I'll say this much. Wait. wait Go. Wait. Uh, the movie was not very good, but it was still better than Transformers 2. But that's pretty easy to do. And on top of that, it was still better than Green Lantern. Uh, Green Lantern was awful forever. Okay. That was Rough Killer's Report, everybody. Visit our websites. Give us hits. Show us attention. Please buy our stuff. Please watch us. Please. We have no friends but you. Please watch us. Uh, uh. <laughs>